go back above. I just need to cross this big highway and there was the only, only way under the bridge for pedestrians. I don't know what to do, how I should get there. small road and so I can go there Ooh, it was a bit scary to be there I also saw there under the bridge some syringe so it is the place for drug addicted people not nice place unfortunately it exists everywhere and here too Hello friends, this is Olga and now I'm going to Venice, Venezia Santa Lucia, which is usually marked as SL and basically it's an island um, where I hope to find interesting places connected with uh, medicine, with uh, hospitals, with uh, pharmacies and uh, this is my um, way to relax a bit. First of all, it's a study, and second, because um, I was quite uh, in the difficult emotional state. Maybe it's like a refugee syndrome, um, and um, I'm <laughs> I didn't do any videos for this month because of this reason, because of the. plenty of topics I wanted to tell to you but I was not able to organize it in my head I was watching some videos of other Ukrainian refugees um, in United States in the Spain in some other European countries and basically I discovered there is such a thing like refugee syndrome um, it happens to adults because kids the <laughs> younger generation they adapt in new uh, society in new country faster but for adult people it's hard um, that woman from United States Ukrainian refugee so she compared it with a tree that was taken from the forest from the native environment and was replaced to some completely new landscape for example in the city where it's all the covered by special coverage by I don't know how to call it asphalt <laughs> or the just bricks um, and this tree is suffering <laughs> so um, I didn't want to go here uh, when I was in Ukraine there was quite bad conditions, to, I think you remember, but I knew that the road will be hard, the, these things to find new room or apartment where to live, especially with the cats, uh, which are big problems, because uh, people, when they see me with the cats, they, they extremely supportive, like, oh, cute cats, oh, cute cats, do you have the cats, oh, nice, but when you are searching for the flat, uh, the reaction is opposite, people say, no, 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 <laughs> no amese animali, don't in introduce animals, um, so, sorry, here we go, it's the main entrance into the train station so here is the train station and here already the water <laughs> when I want to go this is very old pharmacy called Al Irkuled Oro it's a 
can be translated like a gold of Hercules. As I am person of the plain land, probably I would take a walk and we'll see if it's possible to travel across the Venice by legs, not by water. <laughs> it is the rain started and uh, the cold weather suddenly reached me because before when I was walking here traveling here it was the sun it was hot but now everything is changed <laughs> So, as I understand, this is the biggest channel, the largest, and it comes across by Venice and it does some kind of curves. So, it's quite long, but else it is the smallest channels that are creating the streets. Anyway, you see that Venice is not about just the water and channels. Here, enough of the cars, of the buses. This is the taxi, I believe water taxi, people are waiting here on the small bridges. As I was learned from the brief history of Venice, that because of the people in Venice, simple people, they was not able to swim, there was no this uh, hadn't this knowledge how to swim a lot of people of Venice they drown it in this water the like the swimming was the privilege of the higher society as a lawn tennis uh, the hunting and swimming also was something that only the only the rich respected people can learn and do it's really heavy rain started and i'm just uh, stayed here under the roof you don't see it. and find out that here a uh, first aid point or I don't know how to call it the punto di primo soccorso probably first aid yes <laughs> now I am on the way to the uh, pharmacy of the gold of Hercules but anyway this is a small square is very beautiful and I wanted to show you I think this is like a kind of well that the people took water in the ancient times you see here even the kind of sink to drink water so what I'm gonna do I will go there because still half of the route I have to pass here a lot of souvenirs a lot of masks so really really touristic place Prices. Clothes, glasses, jewelry with the souvenirs. This is the souvenir store. It's 
reminds me Ukrainian church inside full of gold I don't know why just a comparison that I came into my mind because of the plenty of golden elements <laughs> I don't know if the gondols or how to call them in English properly I think they're not working in such a bad weather they're all here what I am also noticing here that no trees no green elements pure stone brick and people maybe yeah I see some trees behind this building there where the roof and this you can look how narrow this street is the uh, old part of all Italian cities and towns are like this very narrow basically it's uh, maybe two meters from the windows to the other windows in front and I would say that for me uh, of course first time first day first days it was quite interesting, unusual to see these cute small streets, uh, very narrow, but I remember when I was living, maybe you, you remember this episode when I was in the, live near the church, basically in the church, uh, there was also such a streets around, it was a old part of city and uh, for me it was very depressive and uncomfortable to live there as i remember when i went um in the part that was uh, more uh, modern uh, for me it was okay of the city of the town that but when i came to this such a narrow street and when I was walking every day, the same, these narrow streets, it was, I don't know, very depressive, uncomfortable. And not just for me, another Ukrainian refugees, they also told that, uh, that it's kind of like a walls pushing on them. <laughs> and it's really this kind of feeling, I think. I don't know what the medieval people, they thought uh, about it. What I learned from the medicine of the Venice that uh, they suffered much in medieval times from different infection disease and basically it's the most famous part <laughs> of medicine I found about Venice itself as a city but being here now I understand why it happens Venice got the a lot of epidemies first it was leprosy then a lot of epidemics of plague which was the most dramatic because a lot of people vanished and uh, also uh, after cholera and uh, looking here on this place inside of Venice it's really highly populated uh, place no trees no um, space it's an island people you see how close they to each other of course uh, for infection disease to spread it's really good conditions to spread and you see this the wells uh, in the center of the square to take the water the water around uh, after the water channels water is the best uh, environment for the cholera basically cholera is a water bacteria and it spreads uh, while people have not possibility to sterilize or purify somehow the water um, yeah, and for the plug is to contact way of the infection 
spreading infection is the best when people living just so close to each other so basically i found it spezzeria al eracole d'oro it's a pharmacy anyway so i found this pharmacy and actually it's near something like they together the style is the same but basically that one i see it's quite modern So inside Maybe it's not bad that pharmacy in the old place exists for a, since the medieval times and it's not something like a museum as usually it could be. And this one, is, maybe it's connected with perfumes, I don't know, because they don't look like pharmacy. Now I'm standing here near the water and I'm feeling the salty water. So <laughs> this is the island surrounded by the sea. So basically it's, it's normal that this whole water should be salty. But it's definitely the smell of the sea here. And finally I got that why I saw near some rivers uh, this wooden uh, sticks may maybe not sticks but I understood that they are just for uh, fixing by ropes and holding the boards and before I didn't understood uh, what what is that it is ugly it is old why they are in the rivers or even as a monument put in somewhere but now I understand it's not for beauty, but it's not damaged the boards when it touches or beats it. So it's like this. That one is the main train station from this side, from this bank of the channel of this river I have no idea if it's possible to swim here or it's just to enter the board the steps in the water probably it's forbidden because the movement here is just crazy a lot of boards and um, I think not that not that safe and probably the water is not clean now I got the idea maybe those steps here and there uh, maybe they're not to make people go inside the water but maybe they are for a rescue people if someone fall or had to go inside the water this person have to somehow get from here and you see that it's quite high so it's not possible to go out and these steps they're really helpful I found the tree <laughs> oh and even more more green area so I was wrong there are some trees here 
maybe in the city center, yeah, they is... they're, they're not there. There are a lot of hotels. When I was walking here, like every time I see this hotel, hotel, but for me, seems like this is just a simple apartment. I think it should be just simple people live, but maybe I'm wrong. This one is the Scuola Grande de San Rocco, as I'm not mistaken. And here somewhere should be a museum, the oldest pharmacy in on Venezia. I I will try to find it here. But so far I do not see anything connected with uh, pharmacy. Also, what I thought about uh, why they have these steps, maybe also to wash, for example, clothes, to wash something themselves, people in the medieval times. Anyway, no pharmacy here. This is the school from other side. Only the bolts. And by the way, is if you see there there is some kind of ukrainian flag yeah it, it is because uh, maybe they put it in the different direction because we have the horizontal lines but anyway it is sometimes i can see here in italy some ukrainian flags and usually they put it by ukrainians just a lot a lot of water it's really different philosophy of living on the water on the salty water because it's even smells salty here where i'm standing let's take a last look on the venice i didn't watch all because for that it's uh, i need to stay here for maybe several days This is the ship, I believe, to the islands. And this is the point for uh, getting pictures, for uh, watching the Venice and the islands called Fuzina. I believe this ship leads probably to one of those famous islands but it seems like look it it should be the island of Saint Lazarus the island of the one of the first quarantines were invented in the world against any epidemics people they were uh, isolated on one of those islands here for 40 days 40 is quaranta so it's the name of quarantine quarantine i don't know how in, in our language is is uh, transliterates as quarantine but actually quaranta is a 40 40 days the sailors should stay at this ships arrived from the asia from the different countries they just um, picked one of those islands and uh, for the isolation but the new um, saint lazarus i would say the new island for another quarantine which was created later um, it's on the other side of Venezia so they are quite or Venice so they are quite far from each other 
you can get there by one of those touristic ships here you saw at the beginning of this part of the my video and uh, I think that also there must be some appointment so you have to appoint that you buy a ticket before and if not it's uh, probably you will have to wait longer I think for now it's the end and uh, we have to finish this trip I'm thank you very much for your attention that you watched it who even watched until this uh, point at the end uh, I need to return I need to go back to the place where I'm living always yours Olga